Our first guest tonight is an 11 time Grammy winning musician and one of the biggest stars in the world. Her album, Red, Taylor's version, <laughs> is out tomorrow. She's also returning to SNL this week as musical guest along with host Jonathan Majors. Please welcome back to the show the one, the only Taylor Swift, everybody. <laughs> The show. Thanks for having me back. We love having you in the building, especially when it means we get to see you on SNL this coming Saturday. Your fifth time as a musical guest. Yes. What mm. a dream. And uh, and one time host, an incredible host back in the day. Thank you. And I'm wondering. Back you, when I was a teen. It's crazy how young you were. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Because you're young now, and that was a long that time is ago. So, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> I can say it honestly because a, I've also aged. What a friend. No, yeah. you haven't. <laughs> Thank you very yeah, much. Those are lies. Don't say lies. Uh, having been a one-time and a first-time host, obviously, when you hosted, do you have any advice for Jonathan, your first-time host uh, this week? Uh, well, I, I met him, and I just want to say he seems like one of the coolest people on Earth. Yeah. I think that everyone needs to watch and just, like, He's amazing. I mean, his work is obviously so incredible, and I'm a big fan. But meeting him, you just get such a good... Very real, very like nor n abnormally talented, normal personality. Yes. Those people are unicorn special. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a <laughs> very, special, very nice combination. Special people. So like, you know, I, I don't, you know, what's weird is I didn't get any advice from anyone when I was hosting, um, which is actually weird because I was like 19. So yeah. I should have <laughs> been given advice. Yeah. Real ball drop on our, our end. Right? Yeah. It, there should have been like a tit, like a, like a like a number of people called to give me advice, um, but no, it's it's you know I think it's just going to be amazing. I'm so happy to get to be there to perform and to sing. You know I I haven't uh, played with my band in years, and we're all like we all find it hard not to like cry that we get to play together. Like we're all like, did you guys make it through that last pass? <laughs> we're in rehearsals just like embarrassing ourselves. Um, so it's just a dream to well, get to do it. Well, I think it must be emotional just to get back together, but also part of the emotion is you're singing songs from, you know, you're re-recording. Uh, this is your second re-record. Yes, I feel like, I know that everybody has busy lives, um, so I, I do feel the need to, like, explain what I'm doing because it's not normal. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, like, m music... I've always wanted to own my own music since sure. I started making my music. And if you probably don't know this, but most of your favorite artists do not own their work. Um, the music industry is, uh, eh, you know, <laughs> um, certain corners of it. But I think that um, there was there was something that happened years ago where I um, I made it very clear that I wanted to be able to buy my music. That opportunity was not given to me and it was sold to somebody else. And so I just figured I was the one who made this music first. I can just make it again. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Um, I have to say. So that's what we're doing. So when something says in parentheses, Taylor's version next to it, that means I own it, which is exciting. <laughs> it's, um, it's quite. It's quite a clever a loophole, oh, Taylor. I really tip my cap. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's, you know, it's also interesting um, to kind of go back and relive this nostalgia with fans who are the reason why I get to do this and why I get to, like, sit here and, and like, have this lovely chat with you. Um, going back and, and reliving these things with the fans, and this time around, I get to really, I get to do things that I know they wish I would have done the first time. That's really Because cool. I'm always listening, and I'm always lurking, <laughs> and I'm, I'm always listening to their opinions and their theories and what, the, you know, they'll, they, they will let me know which songs should have been singles. Yeah. They let me know which songs did not get videos and should have gotten videos. And so I just like, you know what, like I'm listening, and I'm making the videos, and I'm doing the things. That's really cool. I want to ask, I mean, I have emotional connections to songs I listened to for the first time 10 years ago. I can only imagine what it's like for you having written them. Like, is it, uh, is it cathartic to go back and re-record them, or does it 
when they're about painful things, do you like feel it all over again? I mean, I think for one thing that I noticed about this, just this week in general, is that I think back to the release week of Red, which is the, the album that is, you know, just in yep. case anybody missed it. Um, so this, this originally is, this. came it's out. Taylor's like, version. Yeah, it came <laughs> out originally about a decade ago, and um, I was 22, and that release week was so stressful because nobody's heard any of the music. There are like 14 different genres on this album. It's a real <laughs> patchwork quilt of genre. I was really experimenting. A lot of 22-year-olds are going to bounce around on genres. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. You know, that's what we want for them. Absolutely. Um, but I think that I was so focused on like, is anyone gonna like it? And then I was also like, at the time, like honestly, really sad. Um, Cause I'd actually gone through, uh, you know, the stuff that I had <laughs> sung yeah. about. But this time I'm just like, I got like, I have like got sunglasses on and like a mojito and just like, <laughs> it's chill this time. It's really nice to be able to put this album out and like, and not be sad, not be like, taking breaks in between interviews to cry. Yeah. It's very, I'm telling you, it's much better this way. Yeah. Much better. We, I think we're all happy. Yeah. With that said. You get some time passing, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're, you're <laughs> reliving your experience from your 20s when you're in your 30s. It's really the way to do it. Yeah. I wonder if, uh, if there are people who might think that they were the one you were singing about if it's easier or far, far worse for them 10 years later. I haven't thought about their experience. To be I honest. think that's the, that's the biggest burn. <laughs> I think there's nothing they'd rather hear less. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, I have so many more questions for you. We'll be right back with more from Taylor Swift. <laughs> 